welcome back to my channel. My cat is deciding to attack me right now for no reason. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Queen of Manifesting Dreams. I hope you guys are having a great week. And I'm here today to talk to you guys about the 10 most important habits in my life. And if you are new here, welcome. And since I am a starting off new YouTuber, small YouTuber, I just wanted to reach out to those other small YouTubers, beginning YouTubers that might be watching this video that they can comment below and just um, share with me that you are a small YouTuber like me and um, let's support each other. I'm all about support and empowerment. We all have the same dreams. We all have the same goals, right? And we're just going about it little bit differently because we all have our own personalities and what we want and everything like that and let's just manifest into our lives what we want and by supporting each other there's no reason to bring each other down and I would just love to really reach out and um, get to know those other small youtubers and support your guys' videos I would like some more conversation on my comments honestly my comments are pretty dry and it's sad because I would love to respond to you guys and talk to you guys so definitely leave a comment for me please getting right into this video let's get started So the first habit that I want to talk to you guys about today is saving 10% of your paycheck. This is super important if you guys want to start having a more free budget, you save more for big vacations or that Gucci bag or whatever. You really need to think about how you can save money. And then on top of that, I would definitely recommend investing it. Um, look into investing, learn about it, and it definitely just puts your money to work. If you're like me, do an automatic payment that takes that savings, that 10% of your paycheck every month. Take it out first thing out of your paycheck. Number two is by one of my favorite people on this planet, Abraham Hicks. If you've never heard of her, I definitely recommend listening to her books, listening to her podcasts, looking her up on YouTube. She has a bajillion videos of her interviewing people and essentially just uh, discussing her beliefs about being able to manifest anything and everything through the law of attraction and positive vibes. And one of my absolutely favorite theories of hers to help the manifestation process and to become more abundant, one of the things that she recommends just to start getting you in the mindset of having abundance and having money is taking a hundred dollar bill, keeping it in your wallet and spend it a thousand times a day. You guys are probably all looking at this video like, what the heck is this girl talking about? So basically what this does, if you carry around a hundred dollar bill and you spend it a thousand times a day, so you look into what you would want to pay with a hundred dollars. If you want to get that bag, if you want to go out to eat, if you want to go to the movies, if you want to pay for a thousand cars, whatever it is, think about it and constantly just keep thinking about what you can use this hundred dollars for as many times as you want just keep going oh i'll use another hundred dollars here i'll use another hundred dollars here and that mindset is going to attract all those vibes to you of having money and that is what's going to essentially help you get into a mindset that you can have money to pay for whatever you want at any time but i definitely recommend if you haven't seen her talk about it you can look it up on youtube um hundred dollar bill abraham hicks she'll have a video on there that, says, that talks about it a little bit more in depth but i highly recommend doing that it has helped me so much and literally just reminds me every day that i cannot live an abundant lifestyle number three is meditation okay i'm gonna be real with you guys when i first heard someone tell me to meditate i looked at them like they were nuts i was like that is not a thing it's not true that's like what people do when they do yoga and they're like it's the last five minutes and they want to relax and 
stretch. When I really started learning about it and learning about how it can take your negative feelings and negative thoughts and beliefs away by just relaxing and not thinking about anything. How I started meditating is honestly I started with two minutes a day. Two minutes guys. You can do two minutes. What I do is I just set my timer and I honestly just listen to some soothing like noises or music. I just listen to that and I just try not to think about anything. Obviously this is really hard and things pop into your head right and left. But what I do is I just don't focus on those thoughts. I quickly push them away. It comes in, it comes out, it comes in, it comes out. I'm never constantly focusing and like having a conversation with myself in my head about one particular thought, I'm just letting it in and letting it flow out. I'm bringing my vibrations into a much higher level of positivity and relaxation and just knowing that everything is gonna work out for me. And this is huge in being able to manifest things into your life and also just to put you in a better mood and to get rid of those negative thoughts that are eating away at you no one wants negative thought. Meditation reduces anxiety and depression because it's getting rid of those negative thoughts, beliefs, feelings that you're having. And it's helping you focus on literally nothing, which essentially focuses on you and just feeling good and feeling relaxed. It also increases body satisfaction. So your body will feel like it's well rested, even though you didn't technically rest. It will definitely help with that and just feeling like relief. It's going to help with body relaxation. So I highly recommend doing meditation um, once, twice a day, however many times you need it. I Exercise, my favorite. I exercise five days a week. I take off two days, usually the day that I'm filming, which is Wednesdays, and then like a Saturday so I can have a weekend day off. Princeton University recently did a study that um, exercise essentially causes a chemical to be released, a neurotransmitter called GABA, actually quiets your brain and helps you to relax and reduces anxiety and depression. Pretty crazy, right, when you're running on the treadmill and you kind of hate your life? Honestly, it's really good for you guys and I highly recommend it, even if you do maybe two times a week starting out. Just a little small amount is going to help you so much. It also boosts your immunity. So um, the chances of getting sick is very slim. We all wanna be healthy, we hate being sick. So exercise can definitely help with that. It also brings up your self-admiration, it makes you feel good about yourself, it increases your sex drive, all of the above. My next one is skincare. So recently I posted a video about my skincare routine and if you guys wanna watch it, definitely go to my channel and check it out. Um, I tell you all of the products that I use and how I go about doing my face every week and it's actually pretty new. Um, I used to not really care about my skin, which is horrible, and this is why I'm telling you guys now, don't be like me. I recently kind of researched through dermatology how the best way of going about skin routines and the products to use and how to use them, what order to use them. So what I learned, I did a video on, so definitely go check it out on my channel. But I go through all of that products I use, order, everything like that. And I've been doing it for a straight like month now, maybe a little bit less. And my skin is looking so good, you guys. Like it just looks healthy, it looks firm, it looks happy. If that you can even describe your skin as looking happy. It just looks very moisturized, healthy, lifted. There's no bags underneath my eyes. There's no dryness. It just looks very healthy. So I highly recommend getting on a skin routine, no matter what it is, and staying on that skin routine. Reading, we've all heard this. Everyone's like, pick up a book and read, right? But no, seriously, pick up a book and read. So I looked up some facts on reading. Sadly, I found out that 20 to 34 year olds spend only 0.11 hours per day reading which essentially turns out to less than seven minutes. My goal is to read two books a month right now. I know how important it is to learn and um, educate myself. 
So I'm really focusing on that reading. Again, I've mentioned them in another video. No, this is not sponsored, but Audible, hey, if you want to sponsor me, I got your back because I love you. Audible is awesome. And I take it with me. I listen to it in traffic. I listen to it on my breaks at work. I listen to it when I walk or I'm at the gym. It's just such a convenient way to get your reading in and get educated without having to physically like pick the book up. Probably read right now at least 30 minutes. Listen to Audible at least 30 minutes a day. And I highly recommend you guys doing this thing. My next one is planning. And I highly recommend planning your day out before your day actually happens. I just write out what I need to get done that day, what time I need to be doing this or that. And if you have it scheduled out the day before or a couple days before, it is so much easier to get those things done throughout the day and not slack off or just keeping your life in check and keeping your goals in check. So my next one is cleaning and I've mentioned this in another other video so I'll go pretty quickly with this one. But cleaning 10 minutes a day is so important. Um, what I do is I usually just pick something to clean for 10 minutes a day. So whether that be my bathroom Bathroom, whether it be doing the dishes whether it be cleaning my room for 10 minutes if I just do it for 10 minutes a day I'm always constantly cleaning something and the house is going to stay clean also like cleaning when I'm not feeling motivated because it keeps my productivity going even though I'm not really doing what I should be working on but at least I'm doing something and the next one is gratitude which is so important to me as a habit because it helps with manifestation, it helps with positive vibes, and it helps just to make you feel good. I keep a gratitude journal, and I actually write in, in it every day just five things that I'm grateful for. Even after doing it for a while, you're kind of like, oh shoot, like I can't think of anything. But just even the simple thing, you guys, for waking up, for having a roof over your head, for the beautiful sunrise outside, for the butterflies, for for the sounds of rain, you know? You can be grateful for so much. This life is so beautiful. And when you're constantly being grateful for what you have, the more you're going to receive. I highly recommend you guys keeping a gratitude journal or reaching out to somebody who can keep you accountable. Just let them know every day five things you're grateful for. It's only five. The next thing is journaling. And I think it's so important to get in touch with ourselves and how we think by journaling and this also goes into manifestation as well so I keep a journal besides for my gratitude journal I keep a journal that I basically write in every day about how I think things should play out so I write it in such a way that it's happening now even though it's not so I'll be like today it's going awesome <laughs> Everyone seems to be talking to me. I'm really happy. I'm getting all my work done. I thought of this great idea. I'm feeling very creative today. Just literally anything, but you write it as if it's in the present and not in the future. And by doing that, you're basically manifesting those things into your life because your mind is going to think that those things already happened. So it's pretty crazy what our minds can do. Our minds aren't capable of differentiating what is actually happening and what we're imagining and we can literally imagine ourselves in that position and our minds will literally manifest that to us our lives will manifest that that to us because we don't know how to differentiate anything else it's super important to journal just to kind of realize what your thoughts are get in tune with yourself and what you want and manifest it into your life so thank you so much for watching guys those are my favorite habits that I think are really important and will help you be successful and I hope you guys have a great week make sure to subscribe like comment like I said earlier if you're a new youtuber and you want to support I also want to support so definitely leave a comment below I'll reach out to you watch your videos show some love to my videos and I hope you have a wonderful week. Subscribe to me, guys. Um, follow me on Instagram, Queen of Manifesting Dreams. Also, check out my blog, queenofmanifestingdreams.com. And I'll see you soon.